Hello and welcome to this section of the Chemistry Tutor. I'm actually very excited to teach this lesson because really it's the culmination of everything we've learned in redox reactions up until this point. And that is the topic of how do you balance these redox reactions when they're in an acidic solution. I'll, I'll talk about the acidic solution part in just a second, but suffice to say that up until now you've seen that redox reactions, because of all the ions and the electrons floating around, can be difficult to balance and it's difficult to just look at it and figure it out. So there's this process and we kind of learned the skeleton of this process for a few very simple problems uh, just recently in the last couple of sections. But you need to realize that when you are doing these redox reactions, there are a lot of times happening in an aqueous solution and a lot of times they're happening in an acidic solution or sometimes in a basic solution. I mean, when you think about all the chemistry happening in your body right now, there's millions of chemical reactions happening inside your body right now, and they're all happening in a water solution. And if you think about what, um, what an acid is, if you remember back to all of our previous lessons about what an acid is, an acid is just a water solution that has extra hydrogen ions, H plus ions floating around. And it turns out that in your body and in lots of chemical reactions in real life, these reactions are happening in a solution, in an aqueous solution, but that has, has some of these extra hydrogen ions, so they're, they're kind of an acidic solution. Sometimes they'll have hydroxide ions, which are basic solutions. So when you're looking at these redox reactions that are happening in water, a lot of times they're happening in, in uh, acidic solutions, sometimes they're happening in basic solutions, and what you need to realize is that it encompasses a huge class of things. So because you have these extra hydrogen ions floating around, because you have water in there, and because the chemical reactions themselves get more complicated, the process for balancing them can be a little bit tricky or challenging at first. All right? So the title of this section is Balancing Redox Reactions in Acidic Solution, Part 1. So in your uh, book you might, or in your test, it might say, Balance this redox reaction, the, solu the, the solution is acidic. If it says it's acidic, then you need to apply these rules. If it says it's a basic solution, I'm going to show you how to do that a little bit later. It's not very hard. And then if it doesn't say anything at all, then you probably should assume it's neutral uh, solution, which the, uh, the acidic rules that we're doing here kind of cover that as well. So let me give you the process on how to do it with a um, acidic solution, and then I'll show you how to handle the other cases with other problems later on. So there's a lot of steps. What we're going to do is work and show you every single step here, and then this is something that you'll need to remember to solve all of the future problems. Okay, so this is for the procedure for balancing a redox reaction. Procedure for an acidic solution. And again, on your test, it'll tell you this reaction is happening in an acidic solution. Balance it, and then you'll need to use this method. All right, so the reaction is, let me switch colors over here. The reaction is Cr2O7. This is an ion that has negative 2. This is called a dichromate ion plus iron with a charge of positive 2. And it gives us chromium 3 plus plus iron also 3 plus. So this uh, reaction, as with all of these redox reactions, they look very simple. You know, they look like they're not a big deal because you see you have, first of all, this is iron over here, so I'm going to put it Fe here. Well, you can look at this and you can say, well, as far as atoms go, I've got one atom of iron, one atom of iron, no big deal. And I've got one chromium and I've got two chromiums over here. All right, so since I have two chromiums, I can just put a two there. This is what you would do if 